Blessings, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I am Lisa with I Am My Beloveds, and I pray that you are your beloveds as well. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the lover of my soul, there is none like him under heaven and earth. Just wanted to make a quick video today and uh, share with you some visions that I've had recently. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I was at Sunday morning service. Hold on just a second while I turn the music down. I'm in a place of worship in my house, just sitting here worshiping him on a Friday evening. And I thought, I need to come on and do a video and share with you all what I've been sensing, and I know many of you have been sensing the same thing. So just let me read to you a little bit. This was on August the 1st, 2021. And I love this particular church that I, that I go to. Um, I don't go there all the time, but when I do, when I get a chance to go in there, I absolutely love it, and that is the Hub 5. In Jacksonville Florida they are amazing I love 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 this place the worship is so amazing so deep and so intimate and I was there on August the 1st and um, as they they just started the the praise and worship music and they don't have a big band and they don't have, you know, singers all across the stage. It's a small church, but let me tell you, the presence of God is so strong in this place. And um, so they queued up the music to start, and um, the sound that I was hearing, I, I was about ready to just, you know, just be lost in the presence of God until I, they thought it was a mistake. They didn't mean to play it. And the music was, it was an instrumental. And it was when the bride comes marching down the aisle. And it was awesome. I seriously thought that they had done this on purpose. So here I am lifting my hands and I am praising an almighty God. My king is coming. My king is coming. It was beautiful. And they stopped it because they didn't mean to do that. And so they queued up the music again. And again, it was the beautiful Here Comes the Bride. And it was absolutely amazing. I had my hands lifted up because I could feel the presence of the King coming near. It's beautiful. Uh, and it's funny, I've always been very sensitive to that song and or that instrumental maybe because since a very small child my heart has been knit to my king's heart and I have been waiting for his return but they stopped it again and you know they have apologized and they had said that there was a wedding that was at the church the previous night but I don't believe it was a mistake I believe it was God letting us know bride, my beloved bride, I am soon coming. Prepare yourself because I am coming soon. Several months back, um, I was working on Sundays and I was on my way to work that Sunday morning and I was just driving down the interstate and I glanced over and there was, uh, you know, this big beautiful church that's over, you know, to the right and I was noticing that. And I'm just, you know, you know, talking to the Lord. And I heard him so specific and so plainly. And he spoke to me and he said, As surely as the sun rises every morning, I will return. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> that just ignited my heart for the day. I was so excited. I had an amazing day all day at work. Even though I had to go to work on a Sunday, I was still rejoicing in my heart 
because he had told me as surely as that sun rises every morning and it does every morning you get up no matter how gloomy it is no matter how dark it is no matter what unless there is a great storm that's in your area that sun rises and when that storm passes that sun is there so I said thank you Jesus I hear you my king I hear you are I hear you my king you are coming quickly so bride I'm here to tell you, your king is coming. Please get your ears in a place where you can hear his voice. Go away with him. Prepare yourself as Esther prepared herself for a year. She was being prepared, perfumed, and bathed to meet the king one night with the king and she won his heart. So I'm here to tell you, bride, go into your chamber, shut yourself in, get into his presence, bathe in his beautiful presence, worship him, sing, let the fragrance of heaven pour over you. Be saturated in his presence. Prepare yourself because our king is coming. So let me again share a few things that I wrote that day on August the 1st. I said, I hear the sounds of heaven. The music has started and is calling for the bride. Here comes the bride. I love it. Bride, make yourself ready. Your king is coming. And then I went to the book of Ezekiel. And I believe he is calling for the dry bones, those that are in Christ, those that have fallen asleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Because there is coming a sound. He is releasing a sound in this atmosphere. He is calling his bride to be awakened. You have been asleep for many years. You have gotten tired. You thought he wasn't coming, but he is. And he is preparing you. And I pray that as you sleep at night, that you will see visions and you will see dreams and you will hear the sound of here comes the bride. Because he is coming there is a great 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 catching away and it is coming now I don't know if it's going to be this year I don't know if it's going to be next year but we are to be ready saints we are to be ready you need to make yourself ready bathe in his presence and draw in the fragrance of heaven there is nothing like it for he is the lover of my soul and I pray that he will be the lover of your soul he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is there every time you call upon him. So as I was, I was in worship, I saw bone to bone rising up and taking its place in the body of Christ. And we are the body. And I'm here to call the bones from the dry, dry dust of the earth, wherever you are, come together, be awakened, for there's coming a sound. Wake up, wake up, wake up, get up. If you're a toe bone in the body of Christ, be awakened and come and take your place in the body of Christ. For the toe, the big toe, holds the balance of the whole body as the body walks and moves. So if you, we're all called to be a part of the body of Christ. If you're called to be in that foot and you're called to be the toe, you bring balance to the body. Rise up, wake up and take your place. If you're called to be an ankle in the body of Christ, I am calling ankles in the body of Christ to be awakened. 
Be awakened and come and take your place. For the body has need of you. For the king is coming. The body has need of you. There is work to be done. Come and take your place. If you are called to be a shin bone, and this is things that I was seeing as I was worshiping. I was seeing, I saw the foot first, and then the toes, and all the bones, and then the ankle, and then I saw the shin bone. And I could hear, we are all a part of the body of Christ. Come, take your place, and I am calling forth the shin bones and the lower leg bones. Whatever your part is, whatever you are called to be, come and take your place. Then I could see the knees and the knees of the body. If you are called to be a knee in the body of Christ, come, wake up and take your place. Come and take your place because as the body of Christ moves across these nations, we need you. We need you. Come and take your place. Then I saw the thigh bones. Come and take your place. I'm calling forth the thigh bones, the muscles, the joints. Come and take your place in the body of Christ. Then I saw the hip bones. Come and take your place in the body of Christ. Wake up and come and take your place because the, the, the hips allow forth for the movement of the lower body, the legs, the knees, the shins, the feet. Come and take your place as the move of God sweeps across the nations. Wake up. Then I saw organs. I saw the lower back and I could see the spine. And then I saw organs. And I heard God's voice calling forth the organs of the body of Christ. If you are called to be a heart, if you're called to be a liver, livers detox. If you're called to be a heart, a lung, you have a purpose in the body of Christ. And I am asking you to wake up because we have work to be done in the vineyard. There is a harvest that is getting ready to take place and we need the body of Christ. Then I saw the upper body and I saw the shoulders and I saw the arm bones and I saw the neck bones and the head is Christ and as the head as Christ moves through the nations we are his body on this earth and I am asking you to wake up and take your place come forth come forth now because there is much work that needs to be done there is a harvest that is ready to be picked, and we can't do it without you. Wake up, for your king is coming. Be ready. Be ready. Be listening. Keep your eyes watching, because he's coming, body. He's coming. And I just want to pray with you right now, and I pray for anyone that is sick, if you are sick, I just lift up your hands. And as I begin to pray, Father God, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you for healing. I thank you, Lord, that there is no sickness and disease in our body, that we are made whole in Jesus Christ. There is no coronavirus in heaven. That means there's no coronavirus in my body. I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. And I command any sickness, any disease, and any virus to vacate now according to the word of God by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed, be restored, be whole by the stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I command any sickness and virus and disease in your body to vacate now. Not in 30 days, but I mean now according to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. According to the stripes that he took upon his body for your salvation and for your healing. I ask that you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up every day. Walk in that. 
Pray that over your body. Be dressed. Put on your armor because we are living in a time where we must be covered in the armor of Christ. Bind the helmet of salvation to your head to protect your mind from the things on the news and the airwaves, the lies. Protect your mind. Pick up your sword, the word of God. Let it speak forth from your mouth in the name of Jesus. Pick up the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts. Put on the boots. Dress yourself. This is what I do. Now, I don't do this every day, but this is something I need to be doing every day. Dressing myself when I get out of that bed, just like you go and brush your teeth and you comb your hair and you get ready for work, don't go out the door without being dressed in the armor of God. Get yourself ready in the spirit. Get yourself ready because we have an enemy and he is raging. Pick up the word of God Pick up the sword of the Spirit. Dress yourself. Pick up that sword which to battle the enemy with. Pick up the shield. Put on the boots of peace. Gird yourself with truth. And walk in the truth and the knowledge of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He came as a sacrifice. He was beaten. He was whipped for your healing. Where? and put on the armor and take communion every day and pray for your healing. And I pray for everyone watching that you would be healed and restored. Now, if you liked my video, of which I hope that you did, I pray that you would subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment because that does help with my channel and it helps with the algorithms. I'm really not sure how all that works, but what I'm here to do is encourage the body of Christ. I'm here to encourage those who may not know Jesus. Share this, share this, share this. If you have a prayer request, there is a link below my video that goes directly to an email and you can leave me your prayer request. I will pray for you. I will intercede. I will on behalf of the King, I will intercede for you. I love you, and most of all, our Lord loves you. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He loves you today and forevermore. And I pray that you would know Him and seek after Him and clothe yourself and be ready to meet the King because He is returning. Bless you and have a wonderful evening. God bless you.